10-month-old baby Molly enjoys watching Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the Apple TV. Classical conditioning and unconditioned stimulus is something that naturally and automatically creates a response. The Twinkle Twinkle Little Star video is the unconditioned stimulus as it creates an excited reaction in the baby. An unconditioned response is an unlearned response that occurs naturally in response to the unconditioned stimulus. The unconditioned response is shown in the baby as she is excited, waving her arms up and down and crawling towards a TV. This is a joyful reaction. One day I wanted to watch some movies on the Apple TV while Molly was playing with some toys. So here is Molly facing away from the television and playing with some toys. I'm going through the menu and I am shocked as Molly starts to get excited, stop playing with her toys and crawl towards the television and she waves her arms up and down. I didn't even play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and she's showing a joyful reaction. I realise the click sounds has now become a conditioned stimulus, but how does this happen? Each time I wanted to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for the baby, before playing the video I would have to go through the menu and she would always hear this. This means the click sounds are repeatedly paired with the unconditioned stimulus, which is a Twinkle Twinkle Little Star video. After numerous pairings, the click sounds are a conditioned stimulus. The conditioned stimulus is when we learn to react to something because we have constantly paired it with something else. Now, each time I scroll through the menu, the click sounds, which are the conditioned stimulus, cause a reaction in the baby. The joyful reaction is called the conditioned response. As shown, the conditioned stimulus was previously known as a neutral stimulus. A neutral stimulus initially produces no specific response. Most likely, during the first ever few times I opened Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for the baby, the baby may not have learnt to associate the two stimuli. But after constant pairings, the baby has learnt to react to the conditioned stimulus, which is the click sounds. More specifically, this is a form of trace conditioning, which I'll explain now. As the baby is playing with her toys, not looking at the television or at me, she hears the click click noises and walks and crawls towards the television. The click sounds act as the conditioned stimulus and the baby's joyful reaction to the click sounds is the conditioned response. Here she is crawling towards a television. After the conditioned stimulus ends, there is a temporal gap. Here it is, the loading symbol. Now the unconditioned stimulus is presented. This is a form of trace conditioning as the two stimuli do not overlap and there is a temporal gap between the two.